Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you haven't been here before, my name is Stephanie and I do uh, different crafts or um, reviews on certain craft items. If you have any ideas of anything you'd like to see, just put it in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. So today I'm making a uh, dish towel um, that you can hang from your stove. Uh, you can, it comes with a little button. I'm using the Cotton Fair yarn. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can get this. Alright, so first you want to make your little loop. We're going to chain 48. Okay, you got your 48 chain, you want to chain three more, and this is going to count as your first double crochet, so one, two, and three, and then you want to do uh, three double crochet, you'll do one double crochet in the next three stitches, okay? Two and three. And now we're going to double crochet two together. We're going to do that twice. So you want to insert into your next chain, pull through. Then insert into the next chain, pull through, then you want to pull through this bottom one, and now you can finish your double crochet. So wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. I'll do that one more time. Okay, insert, pull through, insert, pull through, and you want to pull that one. Through one. All right, then we're going to wrap, pull through two, wrap, pull through two. And now you're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, Two and three. Okay, and then you're going to do two double crochet in the next two stitches. So two double crochet in each stitch. So here's one and two. Those are both in one stitch. We're going to do that again in the next stitch. Two in the same one. One. 
two. And now we're going to do one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. And now we're going to double crochet two together, just like we did before. All right, and now one double crochet in the next three. You're basically going to repeat that same pattern until you get to the end of this chain. So you should always start with two because your chain three counts as a double crochet and then you put, uh, then you had a double crochet. That's your first two in the same one. And then you have two double crochet in the end chain here. The next row is actually single crochets instead of double crochets. And throughout the pattern, you're going to alternate double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. Um, so next is the single crochet line. So at the end, you want to chain one, and this does not count as a stitch, okay? So you're going to do two single crochets in your first stitch here. So there's one and two. And now you want to do three single crochets. All right, and now you're going to single crochet two together, and you're going to do that twice. So we're going to insert our hook, pull it through, 
insert a hook, pull it through, pull this one, which is through one, we'll wrap it and pull through both. We'll do it one more time. Insert, pull through, insert and pull through, pull through one, wrap it, pull through two. And that's your two together. Then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Then two single crochets in the next two stitches. So one, two, one, two. Then single crochet in the next three. One, two, three, and then you're going to single crochet two together. Do it one more time. And single crochet in the next three stitches two three you're just going to repeat that across and then like I said your next row is going to be double crochet but we'll go ahead and finish this row And like I said, you should end with the two um, single crochets in the last stitch. Okay. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. This is how you'll start your, your double crochet rows. You'll put another double crochet in this first stitch okay now this counts as two double crochets now all right so then we'll double crochet in the first three stitches just like before Okay, now we're going to um, double crochet two together. And double crochet two together. One more time. And then three double crochet. Okay. So I'm going to finish this. Um, then I'll be back. The rows, the amount of rows that you do is just how... Um, tall that you want your dish cloth to be or your dish towel to be. Uh, so just repeat until you get it to the height that you want it and then we'll come back and um, I'll show you how to do the top part of it uh, that has the button that you hook that you can hook onto the stove 
or your refrigerator, whichever. All right, I will be back once I'm finished. All right, we're gonna finish this up here. We're gonna do the top part. I'm gonna do mine actually a different color this time. I'll slip stitch. I'll slip stitch this in. Alright, and then just chain one. And this is the row that is going to flatten the top of the dish towel. Since this was a chevron pattern. Alright, so you want to do one single crochet in the same stitch here. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one. Two. And three. And if you notice, I'm I'm crocheting over top of my tail ends, so I don't have to weave those in later. And then next is, uh, we're going to even out the dips here. So you'll do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then one double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next, and then a half double crochet in the next stitch, and then we'll do uh, a single crochet in the next three stitches. Two, three, and then you're going to skip the next two stitches and one single cro crochet in the next three. So one, two, skip those, and then we'll do three single crochets. One, two, three and then you want to repeat and do the half double crochet in your next stitch double crochet and another double crochet then a half double crochet and then we'll do three single crochets One, two, and three. Skip two stitches, do three single crochet. One, two, three, then the half double crochet, then a double crochet. And another double crochet, half double, and then three single crochet, one, two, three, and then we're going to skip two, and then we'll do three more single crochet, one, Two and three, then a half double, 
then a double, another double, half double, and then you're going to end with your three single crochets. The next row, we're going to chain one and turn. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the same in the same first stitch here. Okay, and then we are going to single crochet two together all the way across. I'm going to put my hook in, pull through, put my hook in, pull through, and like I said, you just want to do this all the way across the top. All right, you want to repeat that row three more times. And our end result will have nine across. So we will chain one, single crochet, two together. Like I said, just do this all the way across again. So the next row we're going to single crochet across. We're going to do that for the next four rows. You're going to chain one, one single crochet in the same stitch, and across. Now we're going to chain one, single crochet, the same chain. Now we're going to single crochet two together. One single crochet, single crochet two together. 
one single crochet, single crochet two together, and I'm going to actually single crochet my last two together as well. All right. In this next one, we're going to do one single crochet, first chain right here, and then we will do one single crochet, the next stitch, single crochet two together here. Getting ahead of myself there. And then we will do one single crochet and um, the last uh, two stitches here. One and two. All right, turn it. And now we're gonna do chain one and then single crochet across. Remember you want to do <clears throat> a single crochet in this first stitch here. So just do a single crochet across. And we are going to repeat that row until we have it tall enough. You want it about five or six inches long. Uh, where you'll have it enough where you can sew your button on and you'll have space to clip it on to your refrigerator stove or in the bathroom if you want to use it as a hand towel in the bathroom you can do that uh, but you want that space wide enough so you can clip it onto something so I'm going to go ahead and do my rows All right, so that's my last row I'm doing. Uh, the next, we're gonna make the hole for the button. So you want to chain one, single crochet in the same stitch there. And then we'll do one single crochet, and then we're gonna chain two. Let's do our one single crochet first. Okay, and you want to chain two, one, two, and you are going to skip this stitch right here. That is going to cover, the chain two is going to cover uh, this stitch that we skipped, and then we're going to do one single crochet and one single crochet. So skip this, one single crochet, and then one single crochet. That should be into the last. Okay, we'll turn. Next, we're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Sometimes it's hard to see that first one um, after you've done that. But we're going to skip the next stitch and do three single crochets in this chain two space. So one, two, and three in that one, in that one space. And then um, we'll skip the next stitch and do a single crochet in the last stitch. 
I'm going to turn. And then we're going to do, this is the, the finishing line here. So I'll chain one. And then we're going to skip the next stitch and do five double crochets in the next stitch. So this center stitch here, you want to do five double crochets in that one stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then you just want to slip stitch in this last stitch here. Okay. And that's the end. What I would like, what I like doing when I finish, I like to do like a single crochet around the whole thing. And it just kind of makes the edges look nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll chain one. And then I'm just going to single crochet around. I'm going to end that here. I'm just going to slip stitch right here. Trim the edge. I'm going to weave my string in. Trim that off. There we go. And you want to go back through and trim any strings off that you have out. There we go. That looks much better. Now we just need to sew on our button and we will be done. You'll want a nice sew a needle. Um, you can use one like this or a straight one. Uh, you can get a variety pack. That's what I did. We're going to put our string into our sewing needle. can be the difficult part. Alright. Have my string in. I want to sew my button on right about here. 
the center. So I'm going to lay it on here. And then we're going to take our needle, put it up through the button, pull our string through. You just want to go through a couple times to make sure you have it nice and snug. Be hard sometimes pulling the string back through because you've already got it through once. But I just put it through a couple times, especially if you have a smaller, um, a smaller button. But that should two should be plenty because this string is pretty durable. I'm gonna trim this off and trim this off. And you wanna. Tie your button. Oh. You'll probably want to do a triple knot in there so it's nice and snug. And then you can fasten your button on. For these strings, what I do, I just normally weave them in and trim them. And kind of just weave your hook through. I'll do the other side. And after I get it to the edge, I just weave it through this part. Actually, I'm going to go up one more. Let's go actually one or two more. The other side here. And now we just trim these strings. And there we have it. I'm going to hang mine on my stove, I believe. I love these colors. Nice summer color. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And keep watching for more fun videos later in the week. Thanks, y'all.